So today we have a pretty nice geometric question to try. So let us see how can we solve this. So first of all, while solving a geometry problem, we use many kind of theorems, this theorem, that theorem. So let me be clear which theorem I'm going to use. So the theorem I'm going to use is the cosine rule, not a theorem, it's a cosine rule. And it says that if you have any kind of triangle, no specific needed, any kind of triangle. The sides are A, B, C and take any of the angle, let it be this alpha. Then it says that the cos of that angle, that is cos alpha, is equals to A square, that is the squares of the adjacent side together minus the square of the opposite that is minus c square upon 2 times a b similarly if here it's the angle beta then tell me the value of cos beta it would be square of the adjacent added together so a square plus c square they are the adjacents and minus the opposite that is minus b square upon 2 times the product of adjacents that is 2 times a c so this is the cosine rule and i am going to use this only to solve this problem so first of all let us have some angle because as you have seen the sides are required and here we can see the sides are already named except this the base so let us name this base as a a and a why i have named them a a and a because they are equal this sign that is if any lines is there and this sign has been denoted means that all the lines in that diagram have a equal length so here a and a and a and this angle is my theta or else let it yes let it be theta or else let it be alpha anything you can consider i go with alpha any variable bus we need yes the bases are now considered as a and a all the sides has been named some as and one of the angle has been considered now let us apply the cosine rule in this triangle so first i will apply this cosine rule in this first triangle which is from here to here and again going back to the original point yes now let us redraw that triangle over here so here's the triangle and this angle was my alpha this side is o this side is x and the base is a now tell me the value of cos of alpha in this triangle so cos of alpha is equal to square of the adjacent side together so 4 square 16 plus a square minus the square of the opposite so it is minus x square upon 2 times the product of adjacent so that is 4 times a so it's a would be equals to what uh, 16 plus a square minus of x square upon 2 4 8 times a and that's the value of cos alpha in one of this triangle now let us have the cos alpha in another triangle yes now we will consider this triangle let the color be changed go with blue yes from here to here now we will shift till this point yes now this complete triangle so now let us draw that triangle over here so here's my triangle here's my angle that is alpha here's the side 4 now look for the base it's a plus a so it would form 2 times a and the opposite side is already equals to 5 yes now again see this angle is alpha so now let us have the value of cos alpha again so cos alpha is equals to sum of the squares means the square of the adjacent side together so 4 square that is 16 plus 2 times a the whole square minus the square of opposite that is 5 square 25 upon 2 times product of the adjacents that is 4 times 2 a yes now simplifying this so we have that cos alpha is equals to 2 times a the whole square means 4 a square 16 minus 25 means minus 9 upon 2 4 8 8 and 2 16 16 times a this is the value of cos alpha in this another triangle now the final time this is the last time we are going to apply this cosine rule so let the color be equals to pink yes different colors will make us simplify easily so now from here to here now you have also guessed we will go till the last point yes now let us have the cosine rule in this final triangle yes so here's my final triangle this angle is again alpha this side is 4 and now the base has become a plus a plus a that is equals to 3 times a yes and this opposite side look over here it's 7 over there so here also it would be 7 yes now let us have the cos alpha in this triangle so cos alpha is square of the 4 that is 16 plus square of 3 a that is 9 a square minus square of 7 that is 49 upon 2 times 4 times 3 times a so now let us simplify this over here only so 16 minus 49 is minus 33 and 9 a square as it is so 9 a square minus 33 and in the denominator i can see 2 4 8 8 3 24 times a yes so 24 times a this was the value of cos alpha in this final triangle now we have this three cos so you can see here is the green the blue and the pink one now we will just play with these three equations to obtain the value of x so first of all 
I will compare this both equations because in this both equation I can observe only one single variable is present that is a. In this equation a variable x is also present but in this equation and in this equation the only variable present is a. So it would be quite easily solved for the value of a. So let us do that. So I am just comparing this both. Another special property of these three equations are there that their LHS are all already equal that is cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha. So I can directly compare their arches. So let this named equation 3 over here. This is the equation 2 and this is the equation 1. Now let me write the statement that I am going to compare which statement. Not statement which equation. So comparing. Comparing equation 2 and 3. They are LHS is already equal that is cos alpha and cos alpha. So I am going to put the arches equal directly. So arches of the second equation that is 4 times a square minus 9 upon 16 times a and that is equals to arches of the third equation that is 9 times a square minus 33 upon 24 times a. Yes, uh, the handwriting is little bit worst over here because I have zoomed out. Now let us again zoom in to have a clear handwriting. Yes, now I can see a and a got cancelled out from the table of 8 it goes 3 it goes 2. Now we have to just cross, cross multiply so 3 4 12 times a square minus 3 into 9 that is 27 and that is equals to 2 times 9 18 a square minus 2 into 33 that is 66. Now let us simplify this so I will shift 12 a square over here minus 66 over here. So minus 66 become positive 66 minus 27 and that is equals to 18 times a square minus 12 a square. So 20, uh, 66 minus 27 is 39 yes and upon 18 minus 12 is 6 and that is equals to a square. 18 minus 12 was equals to 6 and I have shifted that over here. So value of a square obtained is 39 upon 6. We will keep it as a square only. Why you will get to know the reason. Now let us now compare the final that is equation number 2 and equation number 1. So let us have that statement over here also. So I am just going to compare, comparing equation 1 comma 2, yes, now the, the LHS again already equal that is cos alpha and cos alpha, so I will keep the RHS equal, so RHS of the first one is 16 plus a square minus of x square upon 8 times a and that is equals to RHS of the second one that is 4a square minus of 9 upon 16 times a. Now why I was not taking the value of a only kept as a square because I observed already that a and a will get cancelled in the denominator and the numerator contains a square only that's why I have not gone for the a and kept as a square only. Yes now from the table of 8 1 and 8 2 now the cross multiplication so 2 into 16 32 and 2 into a square means plus 2 times a square and value of a square is 39 upon 6 yes and minus 2 times x square that is equals to 4 times value of a square that is 39 upon 6 and minus of 9 yes now i can see this 2x square will shift over here and this all will come over here so 32 plus over here i can observe that 2 1 from the table of 2 it goes 1 and 3 from the table of 3 it goes 3 1 and 13 so 32 plus 13 now from here i can observe minus 9 so positive 9 and here I can observe 4 and from the table of 2 2 and 3 from the table of 3 3 1 and 3 13 and 2 into 13 26 and it will shift so minus 26 and that is equal to 2 times x square now just simplifying this so I can observe that over here 32 plus 9 is 41 and positive 13 minus 26 is minus 13 and that is 2 times x square this both gives us 28 and that is equal to 2 times x square. 14 is equal to x square and thus x is equal to square root of 14. Only positive root because x is a side length and side lengths are always positive. So x is equal to 14 and that's our answer that x is equal to 14 in this question. So let us have the final solution at once so it will be clear for you to see. Yes, over here x is equals to 14. What we have done was apply the cosine rule 3 times over here. Then we have compared the equation number 2 with equation number 3 to obtain the value of a. Then we have compared the equation 1 and equation 2 to get our final answer that is the value of x and that's our answer. 
So if you found this problem interesting, do subscribe to the channel and admit that you are unable to solve this interesting problem by giving a like to the video. And the end of the video, I am showing you the final solution. Also, if you have any other method other than this, you can comment below or else you can DM me on my Instagram. Link is in the description.